Happy New Year! As we enter 2016, we'll take a quick look back at the road improvements completed last year in our popular new Street Beat segment. But first, the Arlington County Board continued its long-standing tradition to begin work on the very first day of the year. On New Year's Day, the County Board elected Libby Garvey as the new chair and Jay Fassett as the new vice chair. Each board member made remarks looking forward to 2016. You can read the remarks or watch the full speeches on the board's website at countyboard.arlingtonva.us. And don't miss your chance to meet the new chair and all the board members at Open Door Mondays. They're your chance to talk with the board members about whatever issues interest you. No reservation is necessary. Just drop in and chat. You can see the full schedule for January's Open Door Mondays on our website, keyword Open Door. Arlington offers curbside collection of Christmas trees from homes with curbside trash and recycling. Trees collected during the first two weeks of January will be recycled into garden mulch. Be sure to remove all decorations and stands, and please do not put your trees in plastic bags. After January 15th, trees will be collected as trash on your regular trash day and will not be recycled. Residents who don't have curbside recycling, but still want to recycle their trees, can drop them off at the Solid Waste Bureau. More details are available on our website at recycling.arlingtonva.us, keyword Christmas tree. Arlington made some significant investments in road paving in 2015, and the result was a record-setting year. In this segment of Street Beat, we're taking a deep dive into the numbers behind a banner year for road work. Hello, I'm Mike Moon, the Deputy Director of Operations for Arlington County. We're here on Crystal Drive. We paved recently in October uh, from 15th Street to 26th Street. That was done just in time for the Marine Corps Marathon that runs along this route. This year we did do some significant paving in the county. It was $13 million. We paved 91 lane miles of our 974 lane miles, which represents just under 10% of our lane miles in the county. Other key roads that we paved, Columbia Pike, Washington Boulevard near Lee Highway, Army Navy Drive. Other important roadways though in our paving program are the residential sections where our citizens live. Those are very important for us to keep those roadways in operable and safe good condition. We also this year as part of our work effort paved over 12,100 potholes, repaired those. Our average over the last five years have been 6,600 potholes. A lot, a lot of that work was a result of the severe winter we had last year. The 91 lane miles that we paved in 2015 was a doubling of our effort in comparison to 2012. That was a significant effort and we're really pleased with how the paving program went this year. And we'll see you next time on Street Beat. Thanks, Mike. We look forward to hearing more from you again soon. And we'll also look forward to more smooth rides around the county in 2016. The Arlington County Police Department is partnering with Nextdoor to improve communications with residents. Nextdoor is a popular, free neighborhood social network that can help you find out what's going on in your neighborhood and civic association. The police will post information on public safety issues, community events, and activities. To sign up, go to nextdoor.com and enter your address. Arlington's 47th annual tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. will be held on Sunday, January 17, at 5 p.m. in the Wakefield High School Auditorium. The event will feature live music, dance, and poetry. Check our website for details, and while you're there, take a look at the Volunteer Arlington website. You'll find numerous opportunities to give back to the community and continue Dr. King's legacy of service. And remember, Arlington County government offices and facilities will be closed on January 18th in honor of Dr. King's birthday. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time around Arlington.